Hi, right, welcome back. I'm Richard Painter. Might be a boring video to some, but part part of the job. So we're going to try and clean off all this old sealer, and then deal with all this uh, rust on here. Not that you can see actually. So we've got rust rust here. That's the one I had to cut off. If you've been watching previous videos, and then we've got all this all this on here. So we need to clean all that off, treat all of that, get some uh, some proper coating on there. Um, yeah, before we fit the new wing, that's what I was on about. Just trying to think of two things at once. Um, various tools. I don't want too close to that now, aren't I? Various tools we can use. Um, the favourite. MBX tool. I don't know if you can see that on the screen properly. I've shown you that in previous videos, it's my favourite one. Um, you've got your needle descalers, normal grinder with a flat disc on it. Uh, belt file. Which is basically this is a 20 mil one. They come in 10 mils as well. So hopefully that's enough to be getting on with. Um, so I'm going to try and warm this up first, and then I'm going to attack it with this. And hopefully that'll deal with most of that, and then we'll have another look at it. <laughs> Hopefully I've managed to speed that up so you don't have to uh, uh, put over that as well but you can see now it's all clean I think I told you before the downside of the MBX tool is it just obliterates it everywhere the good thing is though is it does get rid of everything so it's, it's a fantastic tool to have um, right so we've still got that um, move you around here camera angle again perfect so on here we've got these u nuts which is uh, if you can see these uh, this one uh, if you've watched my previous videos you'd have seen I had to cut that one off so we're not even going to entertain that we know it was seized up in the back anyway Oh, there we go so you can see so what I can do is now it's off off the vehicle I can clamp it in the vise in fact there we go which way will it go he says anyway it's un it's unwinding now we've taken the pressure out of it it's unwinding so we can clean that one up and use that again or we can fit a new one which is what we normally do so that one's all right, so that can stay there. But just for this exercise, I'll just get rid of these. Looking at them, they're not actually that bad, so they'll clean up. 
in fact we might have to replace that one so um so now what we're going to do naturally the camera's all over the place i'm not a cameraman um right so we'll put the goggles back on we're going to clean all this rust off now all the way around here um again i'll try and speed it up so it's not quite as boring um again i'm going to start with the mbx tool uh see what that cleans off um Wherever I can't get in, I'll use a mixture of the other tools. We'll get it all nice and clean. Um, and then we can get some epoxy on it then and we'll sort it. Right. Right back again. That's freezing cold if anybody's interested. Um right, so just clean that off now. So what we're gonna do is make sure uh, there's nothing hanging around the back or anything like that. So we'll get an airline, give it a good blow out. Um nobody's ever gonna see this as such, it's just if I don't deal with it, it's it'll always bug me. So you, you kind of, we've seen it now, so we have to deal with it. Um, a lot of people, I wouldn't even bother, they would just put new wings on and stuff like that, but it's not what we're about. It doesn't take very long to clean it up. You've more than likely got some epoxy on something else anyway. You're not forced to have it uh, red or gray or whatever. Any epoxy will be good. Um, it's not a, an area that's seen if you like so normally what i would just try and coat that with something good maybe apply a bit of stone chip on there or something and then uh, as a couple of people have said in the comments actually thank you for them uh, there's some drain um pipes we can fit in there now so i keep forgetting to speak to the customer about them just double check before we bolt the wings on um Make sure he's happy. Either order some or I'll have to order some or get him fitted. But apparently they just fit in here. You drill a hole through here through a grommet. Straight out the bottom of the um, arch rather than all the water running inside there. That you've sealed up from the factory anyway. But then you're sealing any water to stay in there as well. Which is why this has gone in the first place you see. Uh, well that's one of the reasons why it would have gone. Um, so yeah, we'll get all that cleaned out. I'm going to mix some epoxy up with a little brush. Um, I'm not going to spray anything because it's end of the day near enough. 
um, so it's more important that I get it coated today. We've cleaned off all the old stuff now, so when the wing goes on, we can then seal it on afterwards. We've just got a, there's a bit of a dent in the wing here, on the inner section. So we'll just hammer and dolly that out quickly as well, and then we'll get some epoxy on there. So I'll go and mix that, I'm waffling, and I'll be back. Right, back again, there we go, it's working there. I wonder what's going on then. Uh, so yeah, so you can see that little dent in there. So what we're gonna do, little armor, little dolly. We're just gonna tap that back into shape now. Um, and then we don't have any problems when we're putting wings on, hopefully. So we'll just give that a quick tap. So now you can uh, hopefully see, we've got that profile back in there now, nice gentle curve. Uh, so we've got our epoxy, this one's, uh, I'll just pull that down so you can see. So this is mixed, um, this is a Lekla version. Um, so it has its own hardener, its own thinners or your reducer if, if if you're in America. I've just mixed this without reducer because I'm not spraying it. I'm gonna, excuse me, brush it on. So all I'm using is these little cheapo, cheapo silver line brushes. You normally get like a bag of 50, 13, 14 quid, something like that. But they're perfect for stuff like this, you see, because we're not going to clean them out, they're just going to go straight in the bin when we finish with them. So we'll just get that a brush back on. And the reason we're brushing it, because if I paint it, I'm going to have to mask everything up, it's going to go everywhere. This is uh, quicker, and I can also get a nice wet layer over the whole thing, so we know we've got plenty on. Again, it, everybody's different. This is just something I'm doing now. Um, I'm sure there's a, another 20 different ways of doing it that other people would be happy with. Um, I haven't got one at, at the minute. Well, I, I have, but I've got no grip for it. They do them little shot blast guns. It's supposed to recycle the um, it's supposed to recycle the grit, so you spray it on close up and it recycles it through a little bag at the front. It doesn't, it goes everywhere. It's in your face, it's in your head, it's in your eyes, it's everywhere. But for stuff like this, it's really good for cleaning it up. But I ain't got any grit, so we've done it old school way with tools which arguably is better anyway. So. so now that's on there. So these edges as well, which will make more sense if uh, the camera was in the right spot. So we'll just nip around there now. So these edges along the bottom here and along in, in here, when we're sealing stuff up before we fit the wing, we will just run some sealer in there anyway to stop any water traps. Um, so that's had one coat. We'll do up here as well, look, so we know it's all coated then, you see. So that's about as good as a waterproof barrier 
as you're going to get. So what we'll do is while that's flashing off or drying, um, we'll go and have a look at the other side. Because even though I haven't reduced this, this is still quite thin. So I'd like to put another coat, uh, certainly along the bottom here anyway. Then we know we've got plenty, don't we? Um, right, so that's basically what we're going to do anyway. To give you an idea. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, I've probably already said, but um, this you can get tintable if you want. You can do it any colour, anything, spray it, brush it. Um, we will seal these edges. I will probably put um, stone chip or some form of um, sealer along the bottom. I might opt for a cavity wax when we've painted it and then because we can get around the side and then cavity wax it all as well. I will speak to the customer about that. Um, so there's a couple of options we can do. We will look at them uh, tubes there, it's a good idea, so thank you. Um, I can't remember who commented and told me. There's a couple of you that have done that, so thank you. Um, it does make perfect sense. There's a perfect hole straight there to go straight through and it'd be perfect, so. Um, and then you don't have the problem in the future, so that, that'll be banging, so. Uh, right, I'll stop waffling anyway. I'm gonna move this around the other side and then we'll have a look, see how bad that one is. Right, we're around the other side now. So compressor's running, it will turn off in a minute. So same sort of thing. Loads of filler. No way near as bad this, uh, this side, so hopefully it won't take us on this side. So I've blown this one out already first. And I'll blow it out again. You didn't remind me on the other side, did you? So I'll have to do that when it's dry now. Um, yeah, so we'll get that done quick.
you can hear me. So we've got it all cleaned off now. So now it's all cleaned off, same as the other side. We'll get some epoxy on it. Let's see what we're doing. Hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you. Um, it is a necessary evil with a job. It is something that we have to do that people don't maybe see or appreciate or whatever the word is for it. Um, so we like to make sure it's all done, all, all clean and tidy. If we do everything like this, then we eliminate a whinge in the future so if i didn't do that and it rusts somebody might think it might have been my problem or my fault or something like that so if we've done everything and we've documented it we have pictures we have video um we know everything was sealed so if there was an issue in the future we know we did everything we could at the time to do as much as 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 we could at the time so, uh, yeah, just trying to uh, future-proof it if you like. So, that's that. Hopefully it wasn't too boring with all my waffle. And um, thanks for all the subscribers and everything. It's very nice. Um, it's growing quite nicely now, so thank you very much. Um, somebody must be sharing it somewhere, so thank you for that. Um, if you need to know anything or interested in anything else, just let me know. Um, I am trying to video as much as I can of this, so we've got different bits filmed. Um, and also um, the MG, there's a few people waiting for the MG as well. We're just about... Um, I need to get a tiny bit further to make sense, so the video makes sense. It'll make sense when you see the video. Um, there's quite a lot to do on that one, the wings have been a pain and um, so that slowed us down a little bit in that respect but we are painting um, boot, uh, under the bonnet, um, engine bay, that type of area so there's a lot of extra body work we've had to do uh, to make it look like, you know, um, we wanted to film most of it, is what I'm getting at, I'm waffling again aren't I? I wanted to film most of it so it kind of makes sense of what we've done rather than just going, oh by the way it's in Primus. So people, from the messages I've had anyway, people want to see a bit of, they like the detail, I'm waffling. Right anyway I'm going because I'm just using up minutes on this video aren't I? So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and like the video if you don't mind. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.